Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. New thing, we're getting into these things and getting out of these intros. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Let's get straight into this side view breakdown. Awesome material today, let's go. All right guys, let's get straight into this. First thing what we're looking here was a small drain. <clears throat> you can notice by the, uh, the down view that it's not very deep. We're talking about a half a foot difference but you can also see the darkness of the drain the bright edges which are bright returns and that darkness and you see little small patches of grass now watch how this creek on the left hand side curves around to the right and then curves right back around to the left now in that small bend in the drain you see a stump sitting right on the edge absolutely perfect place for summertime bass as they pull out here's another view of it a little bit better of the stump Man, this is an amazing little picture right here. Uh, there's not much change in depth, but fish don't need a whole lot of change in depth. And these are things that you're not going to see on your regular as you're fishing because uh, they're just not that visible. Um, here we are. The creek's curving right back up to where we are. As you can see on the down view, we're only in six foot of water. But that dark area on the left, that's a lot deeper. Um, and... Uh, it's just good to see these things. This is a little small drain that just winds up through this flat. That is perfect, perfect spot uh, that fish use for migrating in and out. They may go shallow. They'll use that to migrate in to feed shallow. Um, then they'll migrate out to their summer places and things like that. And uh, it's just good to know these things. And, and good to see these things because these little small drains are not going to show up on uh, Navionics and lake master charts and things like that but on the right side here you'll see a seawall that leads up to a small um, shoreline point um, it's not very deep it's about five foot but if you'll notice those skeg marks in there and I, and I highlighted that because you see that a lot and uh, that's something you see a lot and um, I notice uh, I notice these things a lot and it's always right by takeoff now what we're doing here is we're crossing that same little drain again you'll notice because of the, the you can see it on the down view where it goes down about two or three feet a little bit deeper here but I noticed this is what I call slime grass now you can notice this slime grass because it's that grass that's on the bottom but if you look on the down view or the clear view you can notice that grass barely comes off the bottom and I'm not saying you don't catch fish in there, but I don't have a lot of success catching fish in those type areas. Now here you can see another seawall. You can actually see the post um, very, very clearly. And you can see a big fish off to the left, which he's, uh, you know, 60, 70 feet off the wall. But it's just good to note this. Now here's another really, really cool feature and tells you why boat ramps hold fish so well. Um, we're coming up to a boat ramp. And you can see on each side of the boat ramp how far it falls off. So if you fall off boat ramp, you're in some serious trouble. But that's also why it holds fish is those small ditches on each side. All right, guys, what do you think of that? It's amazing what you can see by just leaving your side imaging on. It's uh, something I never do. I never turn it off because you learn so much about the little intricate details of the bottom. It's good to know these things and you learn and you see things that you've never seen before. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And you know, we need that.